Good morning, friends. Today I'm going to read to you a book that we read at the end of last week. And um, we've got a special guest here. Freya has decided to sit in the chair with me. She won't leave. So here we go. Me and Freya, Freya and I, will read this book to you. This is I Will Not Eat You. And it's by Adam Lairhock and Scott McGoon. I Will Not eat you. Theodore lived in a cave. It was a quiet cave, and that's the way he liked it. One morning, a bird flew up to the cave. It tweeted and squawked at Theodore. Tweet, tweet, squawk, squawk, tweet! Theodore thought, does it want me to eat it? But Theodore wasn't hungry. Go away, silly bird, he whispered. I will not eat you. And the bird flew away. Later, a wolf jogged up to the cave. It howled at Theodore. Oh! Theodore thought, perhaps I should eat it. But Theodore wasn't hungry. Go away, loud wolf, he grunted. I will not eat you. The wolf jogged away. That afternoon, a tiger ran up to the cave. It growled at Theodore. <laughs> Theodore thought, should I eat it? But Theodore still wasn't hungry. Go away, rumbling tiger, he huffed. I will not eat you. The tiger ran away. And there's Theodore, alone in his cave. That evening, a boy galloped up to the cave. The boy roared at Theodore. Rawr! Seriously? Thought Theodore. I should eat it. Theodore was getting hungry. Don't bother me, pesky boy, he bellowed, or I will eat you. But the boy did not go away. He roared again. Rawr, 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 rawr. This upset Theodore. The boy poked. That's it. Theodore snarled, I will eat you. Theodore chased the boy until the boy fell down. Before Theodore could gobble him up, something unexpected happened. The boy laughed. <laughs> and that made Theodore laugh. Ho, 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 ho. And it's hard to eat someone when you're sharing a laugh. Theodore still lived in a cave, but now the cave was extra quiet because Theodore was outside playing. I can always eat him later, thought Theodore. The end. I hope you enjoyed that book. It's one of my favorites. The end.